Welcome to the Empire of this Rampant, and welcome back to my Teutonic Order campaign for the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod for Attila Total War. We're going to continue with the off from last time, where after a uh, harsh video last video, uh, time, we were able to finally take another settlement. We've now been able to expand a slight amount now at this point in time, and so we're going to be continuing to try and look for places to expand. Um, it was suggested, and I hate that... Uh, Denmark currently controls Pomerania. It was suggested that maybe I should try and go over to Pomerania, uh, but uh, I'm gonna have to ignore that for right now, then, if that's the case with, uh, you guys. That means, then, I more than likely do have to go after the forces of Lithuania. Or not my Lithuania, I mean, uh, Kiev. Oh, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, I'm gonna hope that maybe I will get lucky and they will go after, go start a war with somebody else. That would be great if that happens. Um, for right now, let's see, you've got some rank ups, but I don't really care about you because you're an ass. This guy, I want to get killed so badly. I'll just get you leveled up a bit there, but then I actually want to disband you because that's going to save me some money. And then I can have it so that I will now go watch over Vilnius myself. We'll start build repairing everything here so that we can convert it afterwards. I know the beekeeper we're going to be keeping. This thing is an amazing building. It just gives more uh, squalor as a penalty, but hey, it gives me money, public order, and some resources for trade, which is good. Um, so we'll be grabbing that. Probably going to have to start trying to convert this as soon as we possibly can. As I remember correctly, the uh, culture, uh, what it currently is sitting at, it determines how expensive it is to uh, convert a building over. So if we can get my culture to go up a little bit higher around here, it'll be a bit cheaper to try and convert this building, because we have to do that before we leave here. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have a garrison in this area. So you guys can do that, and then I know right now, can my son... No, he still can't uh, be ranked up just yet. I want him to be. I want him to be ranked up. Um, I should actually have another political office right now. Yes, I do for Lithuania. So out of these guys... Who's got the highest authority? you got a th uh, four authority. Okay. Wish I could tell what your personal loyalty is right now, but I'm going to have you try and be the governor of Lithuania. And it looks like you are extremely loyal. Hell yeah, he's got a nine in personal loyalty. See, Widow, why can't you be like this man? Why can't you be like him? Oh, damn it, dude. So I'll do the uh, growth edict. We'll go with that one. And then ideally, uh, when I repair this, I think my food situation will be fixed around here. And then once we have that, we're just going to be kind of sitting around here for a time waiting until we can uh, get the walls built up and convert it over here. I'm hoping that Keep starts a war with somebody, because if I... I have to... I don't have many avenues to expand. I really don't. Um, we're going to have to fight them eventually, no matter what. So, we're going to see what happens. If they... Like, who do they border? Like, Serbia borders them. And I can't... I don't have any information on these guys around here. So, I know they've got these three territories. Maybe they'll start a war, and then I could try and take advantage of that. But even still, for right now, I have to sit here and uh, watch over my city and try and get it to be happy. If anything, I need to convert this building, then I can leave. And then start maybe trying to go and expand into other territories. What the fuck? Why? Why, why are you attacking me? Why? <sighs> okay... I'm now at war with the fucker fucking Serbian uh, Hungary now. Hey, if anything at all, with uh, Kiev, I don't directly border them at least. Uh, and this, these factions are ones that I actually can fight and maybe take the land from. Um, I can try and see if we can build up some sort of alliance with Kiev. If we can get them to give me military access... I can then try and do something, um, and I can actually try and like push through here, but we'll have to see about that. Like, if I can keep fostering relations with them, that'd be great. So for right now, like, they do like me. These troops of Lithuania, they don't like my war with Serbia. <sighs> I might start a war no matter what. We'll have to see. I just don't like how my war weariness just keeps going up because I don't want to... F oh, Hungary's got six regions. You've got three. Oh, my God. This is going to be such an uphill battle for this campaign. Um, let's have you guys start getting the better chapel. Start trying to grab that. You guys at least finish off Lithuania for me, which is great. Um, and then let's see. See, are you ready for duty? I don't care. Fuck you, widow. Um, we got that. And we have a new noble marriage for my king. Hell yeah. So we have that now at this point in time. Uh, you need one more uh, rank up. And then I can try and have you see if you're going to be able to try and uh, be promoted here. Because you need to be... No, you need to be 24. So you're, you're only 21 right now. Um, although I think I'm going to die soon here. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. Especially since we turned off the four turns per year. My uh, my generals die faster. Which absolutely sucks. Um, you guys are doing well over here. It's at two per growth right now. It'll be a several turns until you guys grow this area a little bit more. But hey, we're getting there. Slowly but surely you guys are building that area up. And hopefully I start making more money right now. I make 1,200 gold per turn. Um, so it's going to take me at the moment right now. It costs... Because I want to turn this into a castle. It costs 90, about 9,200. So I get 1,200 per turn. Yeah, it'll take me a couple turns to have the amount of money for this. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that converting the amount does reduce how much this will cost. So the more I convert it, the less it'll cost uh, in the future. So for right now... That is changing slightly, so that is reducing slightly. So I do think that as long as we try and get you guys converted a little bit more, we'll be able to ha try and convert that over if we can. Um, and then at the moment right now... Decisions, objectives. Uh, can we have a different mission, please, Mr. Pope? I have two more turns until that goes away, but, like, I, I, I need to be able to get my people staying up a little bit more so I can try and ask for some more money. Because I need to have it at least be up to, yeah. It has to be greater than 7, then I can ask for 5k, which I'm going to be kind of basically doing en masse every time it's available. Yeah, that is going down a little bit every turn. Um, and then next turn will be the time you really notice whether or not it's going to increase, decrease, or yeah, decrease the cost a lot. Because this will actually give us more influence of my own religion around this area. Uh, also, I'm going to try and see, is there anybody that wants to trade with me? I have more trade stuff now. Please? No, that's slow. Because we at least have a trade resource now. Uh, no, nope, they don't want it either. We did finish this now. And then, let's see. Eh, it's about the same. I think this next turn will have a better idea and like what's going to happen. Now, it costs 6,000 to get this, and I do want to get that at some point. Uh, I think we're going to keep it as it is for right now. Also, isn't there... I'm trying to remind myself. No, there is no issue from having different cultured buildings for Pope Order. So we don't have to worry about that. You have to worry about how pissed off you guys are, because that does reduce growth around here. Let's see, and then you went up into rank two. Hell yeah, that's for the guy around here. So that means he's going to be a, gov a better governor. So we can get you more authority, so it means more public order around this area. Beautiful. Let's see, so Pisana is at war with the Meredith Sultanate. Pure succession. That's the Commer Commune of Bologna. Interesting. Uh, Denmark and Holy Roman Empire at war. Interesting. No birth. And then that was a actual kid. Perfect. Um, I also do think that one thing we're going to try and do is once you come of age, I'm probably going to try and see if you can marry this guy into the family. Which also, this guy actually is loyal as hell, so I'm going to put him in here um, as another thing for a governor there. So you can try and do that, try and have him secure that office. And then right now, let's see, oh, we've got some defamation. God damn it. Yup. I'm going to pay him off. I want to get you killed somehow. I so want to get you killed. Also, is this getting... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now that we've been able to convert it faster, this is going down. So I might actually have enough money next turn or the turn after to be able to convert that over to a castle. I know for at least, like, my actual capital, I think any area with a port, um, I eventually want to switch you over to... Let's see, to be... Yeah, the large city ones. Because the large cities give me more income from commercial buildings and uh, for the adjacent provinces as well. So, like, if I have Riga and I had Gdansk, like, all of my coastal cities are all, like, cities and not castles, that could make it so I make a ton of money from that over time. So I'd love to try and do that. Let's see. So, you guys... Honestly, I almost wonder if I should jump on an Australian attack in Denmark. Because, like, so many people are wars in Denmark right now. Um... I am trading with them, though. How much money would I lose from that? I make 300 uh, per turn. Part of that is long-term partnership. But you're war with so many people. I'm, I'm very tempted to go to war with you, possibly. Everybody's so much stronger than me. I fucking hate this. Um, it's tempting. It's very tempting. Because I would maybe... Like, we could have... We can get away with it, possibly. Um, okay, so next turn I'll have enough money for that castle. If I can keep fostering relations with you guys... I wish I... Oh, now you like my war with Serbia. You didn't initially. Yeah, because if I can keep my trade with you guys... 
I could replace the trade with uh, Denmark. I'm tempted for that. I'm, I'm very tempted. It, it's one of the two options. Like, we have time to th consider, like, what we're doing, because we have to still get this area happy. I have to at least convert this. So, six turns from next turn, so seven turns from now, I will be able to then leave this territory. We at least need that amount of time, so we at least have a garrison in the area. Then I should probably be able to leave this, this area. Does look like Serbia is making their way over here, though. Uh... If you attack us over here, I think we'll be okay. I'm now going to start converting this into a castle. So start trying to do that. Public order is doing a little bit better around here. Bohemia and Hungary are at war. So at least the people that are fighting me now at least are having other people want to fight them too. As opposed to last time where it was literally everybody just wants to fight me. Ooh, now... Um, let's see. So I need to have at least 30 influence. You're not the best. Oh, that's when commanding. Oh, and governing though, you're you're a bitch. Um. So the Lord, yeah, I wouldn't want you to be. I would prefer you actually marry somebody that's a commander. I could have you try and marry this asshole. <laughs> oh yeah, try and marry him, and then we just stab him. We could try and go with that. I feel like. So it does look as though that army of Serbia is making its way towards my capital right now, which I don't like. Um, I can't really leave here right now with this army. Um, I do think what we're going to do, though, is right now, let's reinstate a legacy. And we'll use a Widow once again. Because I want to try and get you killed. Um, and then I'm going to try and have you start recruiting some stuff over here. So start trying to grab some men over here because i have a i've got a garrison it's an okay garrison but i could use more so try and grab some men and if anything at all at least um if we don't need to defend this territory i can then just bring those armies or that uh, army over here give those units to this force and then this army will be stronger it's going to be they're going to be troops i want to recruit anyways so might as well grab them right now and also i'm gonna keep trying to every once in a while just check and see if i can try and get a ceasefire with you guys because, again, I need to get my war weariness we're down right now. It's way too fucking high. You are welcome, Serbia and... Oh, actually. Hungary. <sighs> Hungary's almost there. Serbia right now. In the name of the state. Yeah, still low. But at least Hungary is close. They might actually accept a ceasefire at some point. Might have to offer them money, which I don't want to do, but it's close. <sighs> yep, they are advancing up this way. Okay, well, I was at least able to... The, like, these units for sure will finish up this next turn. Um, there's a little bit of cav I could grab. Is there anything that's, like, really fucking cheap that we could grab? That's peasant manpower. I don't have a lot of peasant manpower. I actually do have a decent burger manpower, so I feel like we want to try and make sure we grab from this population. Um, I can technically get up to... I can start another recruitment slot. I feel like I'm going to want, yeah, a little bit more crossbows if I can. Any range, range units would be really nice here. And I'm going to hope that maybe you guys be deterred a little bit because I'm going to be able to recruit, recruit, be able to recruit something. If anything at all, they are taking attrition. I think next turn, I could try and start moving this force up. Um, I just don't want to do it right now while it's the winter, and we're just going to take attrition anyways, trying to make my way up that way. Hungary actually wants to offer me money for a piece. I will gladly accept that, because I don't want to fight you. So we'll accept that. Serbia's still making their way up. They didn't get the, the, the city this turn. So at least I do get those two units for sure. I'm going to start moving up with my other force. I'm going to have to risk the possibility that the Rebellion is going to kick off over around Lithuania. But I think by the time the Rebellion would kick off anyways, I will have walls? And if anything at all, things will continue to improve. Um, so let's see. So we also just finished the uh, research for the towers. So the towers will do more damage now. And then you guys are pieced as well. So I feel like I do need to try and move out of here. Because if we go... Right now, it's at minus eight. And there's nothing for me to do to get more public order around here. Well, there is this. That's plus four. Uh, uh, the amount of... Actually, if I reduce it by half... Let's see, minus three state religion per region in the province. Um, that make it so I basically don't get anything. But it would reduce that by half, which would be like seven points. Or we could just do this and make us money. 
but Bubble Gordo go before. It's not going to prevent it from rebelling. Rebelling in five turns. The 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 walls finish up at least in three. Okay. Um, for right now, though, I'm going to grab this. This gets me some reduced construction cost. But I am going to try and bring you up around this way. Because if I can push them back and get back over here before the rebellion kicks off, that'd be great. Um, and I'd love if you guys could get it one more turn of recruitment. Because I could grab... I wish I could grab more views. You guys have a higher rate of fire. I definitely don't want you guys, if anything. I'd like to get some more infantry around here, but I don't think I'm going to get enough time for that. I... I'm going to try and just recruit two more crossbows. If they give me the time, I will gladly take it, because that could do a huge number on them. That could make a huge difference. At least I got the one infantry unit right now, and I... I will actually be here next turn. Okay, they actually backed off. And I don't see them advancing towards the city right now. That's good. Um, I'm just going to go into Fortify Stance here so we just don't take attrition. And then I will actually stop recruiting here for right now. Because I barely make any money. So we'll stop that for right now. Recruiting loyalty, I know. You're an asshole. Uh, this area here had a new family member, though. And then also, you're still slowly gaining up more influence, but I'm hoping that maybe I can try and have you marry someone at some point. I will try and seek another wife out with my king, although I'm expecting him to die soon. At least my son has several kids. I am going to try and have you, though, um, try and rank up. So let's have you get this one, so you can get a better personal influence for yourself, and uh, you'll just be a better governor overall. So try and grab that. And then I think for right now, let's see you... You need to be in the office terms more. You need to be rank three, and then I can try and have you also maybe rank up as well. Because I'm going to reward loyalty. Because, hey, Widow, if you're actually loyal to me, I could do more with you. But uh, you're not. You're an asshole. Actually, I almost kind of want to attempt to assassinate him. It costs 45 if I want to try and assassinate him, though, is the thing. Yeah, I still don't see their army right now, which is good. Um, so you guys are over there. Again, Denmark's being attacked by some people. I need to get you killed. I so I'm gonna prepare, prepare for this. Got noble marriage and then office secured. Hell yeah! There you go, man. Okay, so for right now, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys back this way. I don't see Serbia at the moment, so we should be safe to come back around this way. I'm gonna have you for right now. Just try and ferry these troops over and basically just give them over to my army because I don't see Serbia at the moment. It seems like they pulled back. I'm going to try and see if I can get a ceasefire with them. I don't want to fight Serbia. Do you guys want a ceasefire? Speak your speech How much so if I, how I pay you? I don't have a lot of money right now, but if I pay you, will you stop fighting me? Slow still. Okay. It's worth a shot. Because I, I think I'm leaning towards wanting to go after Denmark. I just need to, like, hey, this area is about to be ready soon. With Like, this is going to finish up. I'll be able to have it so this area is going to be a little bit happier. Still need to try and get a priest at some point. I'm just barely making money. Uh, I know I'm going to want to get rid of you at some point, because you cost 500 gold per turn right now for upkeep. Alrighty, so we now have been able to finish this building over here. Beautiful. Um, oh my god, your loyalty went up! Let's see, he's grateful for your aid during a recent political intrigue. Okay, I still want to get you fucking killed. <laughs> but hey, at least that's something now. Um, I'm going to at least finish that construction there. Uh, let's have you sit in Fortify Stance for right now. I don't want you to take any attrition while trying to ferry these troops over. Uh, so we'll be bringing those guys over here relatively soon. Um, we're making a little bit of money right now. War wariness is at 20 fucking percent. God damn it. That's like another thing that's making it just hard as hell to try and make it so we're not so pissed off here. Because I'm not actively starting these wars. People are just starting them with me instead. Serbia, again, I'll try and see. Uh, nothing at the moment. And then Sicily. You don't hate Speak me now. If, you must, oh, if I pay Roman you, I don't like want to be at war with you. Battle. Still low. Let's see. So Serbia and uh, Celestia are now at war. Ooh. That's good for us. Denmark. Yeah. Denmark's at war with so many people. I have to start that war with Denmark. Uh, let's get you over here. Next turn, you'll be able to drop off these troops. And then I'll be able to try and do something with that. Um, Serbia. You're at war with more people now. Do you want to see Spire? No, you don't. Well, fuck you. Okay, let's try with Sicily once more. Because I think for right now, basically all we're trying to do is I need this area to be happy enough that I can leave here. 
Um, at the moment right now, this is up uh, going about 1% per turn at the moment. Uh, if I can just get to see you guys are barely happy, like if I had enough money I could upgrade this, it'd be able to convert it even more. But I don't make a lot of money. Once you drop these troops off, at least, I can have it so that you will be disbanded and that will save me about another 500 gold per turn, but that'll be next turn. I do know for myself I am going to hate losing out on the money that um, I uh, make from Denmark, though, if I do start a war with them. Because at this point in time, that's like the difference between me making and not making money right now. Uh, at least my army here is a little stronger now. So it's a little bit of a stronger army now. It's up to 15 units. Uh, this territory is still struggling a little bit. Military presence is, yes, yeah, 17 of that. Religious differences. Like, I actually am tempted. If we do this one, it's just we're not going to grow the area that much anymore is the issue. It would reduce the religious unrest quite a bit, but it's not going to... I don't think it's going to make up for that issue. But uh, for right now, I'm going to just keep trying to see... Serbia, please. For the love of God, just give me a peace treaty. Speak your no, still low. Okay. I, I think we're just going to ignore that. I, I do think we're going to be going to... Because how much money do I make from Denmark right now? Three, I make 300 from that. But, like, your territory is good for me, and I want more ports. Uh, and you're just at war with so many people. Like, I feel like I have to jump in on that war. Another assassination plot. Let me guess. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, man. I have to fucking ignore this one. I can't actually stop it. Uh, I don't have influence for that. Damn it. God, I want to get rid of you so badly. Um, Kiev is growing. Is going to go to war with somebody now. Uh, so he's getting better. I can almost upgrade this into something now. Like, I can upgrade it into into you. Does give more food. Gives me wine. Does it have more Christianity influence? But I know right now I need to get at least a priest. Because that will help out faster. So I think we should just save the money for right now. Until we can do that. Uh, War Warriors is still going up. I'm trying to stop these wars games. Stop punishing me for not being able to end my wars because people are assholes and just declare war on me. Like, even if I offer all of my money, I can't convince you to fuck off. Oh no, I could for almost all my cash when I need all the money I have right now. Oh no, someone died and I think that's the guy we liked. Uh, 70 Riga. No, okay, thank god I wasn't. I was, I was worried that you just died and thankfully he did not. Okay, let's see. I still can't go. I want you to go along with that plan. I still can't do it just yet. Um, that was my wife, though, that died. And I don't have enough influence to get another. So we're going to have to just... I'm, I'm already, My character's already also 70, so he's, he's going to die soon. So I'm not too worried about that for right now. Uh, more defamation. <sighs> I need to get you killed so goddamn badly. I genuinely need to get you killed. I can't assassinate you yet. I have to ignore it. Does anybody have enough influence to stab this asshole? 50? Stab him, please! I hate this guy. He's been such a fucking nuisance this entire campaign so far. So please just stab him. And then, for right now, at this point at least. It's a piece negotiated. Bohemia and Hungary. Another person's going to war with Denmark. I really do need to go after Denmark. Minus one influence. Ah. That's not what we needed at all right now. Unforeseen complications. God damn, my control's just going down so fucking badly because of this. Um, faction counter, Duchy of Saxony. Why do I now have vision of you guys? Uh, okay, I just do for some reason. Okay, well, at least right now, I just need two more turns, and then I'll be able to upgrade this finally. Ooh, I could upgrade you guys as well. That doesn't give me more public order around here. Squalor is already pretty bad. I haven't been able to get anything to reduce Squalor. Uh, but in two turns, I'll at least be able to try and get the Catholic Church. Which then will allow me to get an actual spy. I mean, a priest, I mean. Because I want to see... It's minus five right now. It's not as bad. It's so close. It's so close. I think... War weariness is a big chunk of that, too. I, I think we should still sit here for at least two more turns. Um, at least start this. And then I think we might be okay to move out. And I really do want to try and go over here and take the city. I would still love to be able to try and get some sort of ceasefire with Serbia, because I have no reason to fucking fight you guys. You're war with more factions now. You're not war with Kiev, too. Kiev is also... No, no, no. Yeah, no, Kiev is at war with you. So is Bohemia. So more factions are starting to declare war on you, so your war rareness might start going up. Okay, so uh, one more turn, 
And then this is also going to be zeroed out, too. But yeah, we'll start construction on that next turn. Nothing really happened here, actually. Construction counts for... Wait, what? Didn't I just do this last turn as well? So weird that just nothing else happened. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll keep trying to at least talk to uh, Serbia. Okay, again, out of all of the people... Welcome. You're the one I want to get the peace the most with. Uh, Sicily was, should not actually ever fight me, because they're just so far away down here. But if I can get a peace treaty, I can start trying to reduce my wear weariness, because it's at 26%. I just want to get it down, damn it. I'm trying to end this game. I'm trying to get it down, but you won't let me. All right, we also were able to now complete that research, too. So now a construction cost will be reduced a little bit, so... It's a, that's a that's actually pretty noticeable. That's 180 gold less than before. So we can now start grabbing that. And then, um, wait, we're in slow. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, I'm blind now. Shit. Oh, my stats are now ass. Yep. I How have I not died yet? Like, straight up, I'm wondering how I have not died yet. Let's see. Uh, research now, wealth from maritime commerce, and foreigner population growth. Uh, that would not be bad. I feel like I'm just going to go down this route again like I did before. Because it's just so beneficial to get... Ooh, reduced uh, corruption would not be bad. Sanitation would be nice too. Cultural... But I actually would make more money from this because I get I have a decent amount of commerce right now. I just want to grab that. So let's try and grab that. And then... Religious Differences is now minus 13. War Readiness is the biggest chunk of that. It's minus 4. This is going to give a plus one when it finishes, and then I can finally get a priest. Uh, also, I do wonder, can I get I listen and speak for access my people, from you now dealings today. if I pay you? Okay, because I want, I want to try and hit Serbia a little bit. And if anything at all, though, I think what we can do... God, my war range is just so high. It's a 27%. <laughs> God damn it. I need to get this down before I go to war with anybody. Welcome, but Because that's just, that's hurting me so badly. I, I think I'm going to have to actually waste. pay to get people to stop fighting me. It was like, what, 3k I needed to give you guys? Sicily. Because you guys are hurting me so badly by just continuing to be at war with me. And you don't want to accept that. Because for right now, we could just still sit here a little bit longer. I want to actively do something. I feel like I want to try and go over here, though. I do want to try and... Like, Denmark... They pissed off so many people. I think I need to go over that way. So, like, let's go over towards Riga. And I, I think I'm going to go try and hit that territory. I'll, I'll make less money from trade. But they are at war with so many people right now. I think I need to try and hit this while I can. I'm al already going to be possibly losing money from trading with them anyways. If they just die. So, I, I might as well try and take advantage of that, because I think this area is safe for now. And if I can just get you guys to build this up, and uh, get, I just need to convert it. If I convert it more, which it's already going up a decent amount, um, it's going up 0.5%. Is there anything that gives... Uh... No, there isn't. Okay. Yeah, we just have to recruit a priest around here. So now we're going to have to sit in the winter once again here, trying to not take any attrition. But hey, we're going to continue slowly making my way over here. Because for right now, I think you guys will be okay here. I still do wonder if there's anything. Else. Like, okay, three turns, this will finish. I can then finally get a priest. If the priest is just sitting there watching over the territory, it'll be okay. They'll start doing a little bit better, and I'm not going to have to worry about them as much. For right now, though, we're going to keep gathering more money. I almost can grow this territory, though, too. So in two turns, I should be able to grow this territory once again. And then I'll be able to get another building around here. I need money. I need food. I desperately need food. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to get another uh, building here that is going to be the one that gives me um, just this one. Because it gives food, gives sanitation, gives more influence, and gives me wine. And wine was an amazing way to make money in my Holy Roman Empire campaign. Not my Holy Roman Empire campaign. My uh, Byzantine Empire campaign. Oh, actually, I think I should just move you up first a little bit. Oh, I can get you into Riga. So yeah, you can get over to Riga. I can have, at least have you go chill there, get some replenishment, and then next turn, I'm going to have you set sail, and we're going to try and uh, pick a fight with the forces of Denmark. And hopefully take advantage of the fact that a lot uh, they're at war with so many people right now. And I do think now, 
is going to be the time that I decide to break my agreements with Denmark. So for right now, because there were so many people, um, so let's break my treaties. I'm going to hate this because I'm going to lose money, but we're going to do that now so we don't piss them off too much. I still make cash, not as much as I was, but that's okay. Uh, this army is fully ready to go. Now let's start setting sail, and we're going to head out and start trying to take the city. They don't have anybody around here. It's not a big garrison. And we should be able to hopefully disembark and take that pretty easily. You guys here, yeah, two turns until this finishes up. Yeah, you'll be okay. Yeah, by the time that I get uh, this building completed, I'll have enough money that I can try and get a priest around here. And then that will help out immensely with converting these areas. Then other than that, right now, so there's Imperial Succession. Your royalty is ravering. I'm not surprised by that. You're an asshole. I'm still trying to get you killed. Um... You're not my faction leader yet, so I'm actually not opposed to you trying to do this. I really want you to marry into my family. Because you need, right now, 30. I want to try and have you marry this guy into the family. If possibly can. Oh, no, but he, again, he's the governor. I'd lose so much more for that. His loyalty's at 1. Can your loyalty stop going down? Oh my god, I need to kill you. I need to kill you. Let's see if this will go through, because Widow Bibra, you have just been such a thorn on my side this entire campaign. Alrighty, a suspicious death! Oh, let's see. Let's see, so while the assassination was successful, the man of the death was not quite as subtle as you would hope. People are asking difficult questions that you will have to answer. So let's see, we'll cover our tracks, or we can have a powerful alibi. Um, let's go with cover their tracks! Because fuck that guy in particular! Where he's been just a pain in my ass this entire campaign. At least he's now dead. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so he's now dead. Population surplus over here in Riga. So I want to grab... Let's see. Yeah, because that's going to finish next turn. I think I need, like, a, at least a thousand. So if I get this... Oh, I only... Wait, am I not able to get... Oh, the increased cell thing is here. I need to do that now first. Yeah, is it not going to allow me to get another chapel here? Oh, I can only have one. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting this, because that will give us some more sanitation. We will have to get that at some point. Um, the woodcutter would give us some more money and some more trade resources. Oh, but I need to save my cash. I can't spend that much. I do need more food, though, too. Um, that, I will get more food for right now. Because we just need more food. So I'm going to have it so we'll be having the pigsty here. The other thing we're going to get is I do not want the fields. That gives me 60. I think we're going to want the cattle herd. Because yeah, that would give me 70. Yeah. Because the fields just doesn't give us enough. At max, it gives us 126. This one would give me 100. Eh, okay, it does give me a little bit more. But it, I get more money. Yeah, I, I get a little bit less food technically overall, but I get more money out of it. Yeah, because we already have the pig sty, So we already have a pig farm here. I'll give me 110. This will give me 70. Yeah, the, the best thing will be a, to get a dairy farm there. So we'll try and grab that. We'll make a little bit more money from this and get a little bit more food so we're not going to have to worry about uh, starving as much. And I'll have just enough to be able to try and get a priest around here next turn. But do I have enough movement to hit this territory? Yes, I do. Hi, Denmark. I know we are trading for quite a bit, but uh, you're at war with literally fucking everybody around you. I am taking advantage of this. Closer to the true heart of a good Roman. Yeah, so they're not having anybody join on in. We can easily push on into this territory, and then hopefully it won't be that pissed off at us. They do not have an army in there, just the garrison. Beautiful. We are definitely going to be fighting this ourselves here, as we need to try and do what we can to take these guys out. And I'm just going to hope that... Uh, honestly, I'm not opposed to technically just giving Denmark a ceasefire immediately after this. I do not have the infrastructure and the armies to pro take multiple cities from them at once. Um, they are at war with a lot of people right now, so I think maybe I can get away with taking this city, offering them a ceasefire, and just take just like consolidating this territory. Because right now, I would love to take more territory from them, but it depends on how like upset these guys would be once I capture this territory. At least for conversion-wise, we don't have to worry nearly as much. So that's good. We, there will be probably a lot less um, issues with uh, religion and cultural unrest in this territory. So that should be fine. 
because I would just love to take more territory from uh, the forces of Denmark since so much of their stuff is coastal. Sorry, get rid of this fog. Get rid of the fog, please. Come on. Okay, there we go. So fog is gone. And then uh, for right now... Yeah, so I'm wandering my cabin here, but we have to wait. So you guys will just be back to up here for right now. And balance power-wise, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I just need to move all of my forces up this way a little bit closer. Infantry, I know I'm a little worried that we don't have as many. Like My, my infantry is decent, but I do not have the infantry that I once had as the Roman Empire. So we'll start trying to set sail over here. We need to disembark here. So there, 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 and there. And then I would love to get my cav in here somehow. Because crossbows go over there. Cav, I'm going to try and have you guys like loop around the side of the city. And we'll see if maybe... I think most of their, their stuff is over here. Because I'd love to be able to get my cab in to be able to kind of actually flank their troops. Okay, here we come. Everybody's going to be trying to disembark. Crossbows. I can get you guys a little bit closer as well, since you can shoot from more, uh, on the ships. Um, so I'll have you guys try and do that. Infantry is just about to disembark here. Any second now. Hope you guys will do well here. Cav. Yeah, they have some crossbows still over here. So I'm trying to get you guys to like run around to the other side. I'm mean, hopefully they have like nothing over here. Oh, they still have one unit over there. It looks like it's just a basic archer though, so that may be okay. So we don't take a ton of damage. Alrighty, so we're now in here. I was able to get you guys to try and get your uh, shield wall up a little bit beforehand. So that way you guys don't take as much damage from a charge here. So you've at least been able to disembark there. You're starting to fight this infantry. You're starting to try and take out this tower here. They're kind of moving their troops back away. Still, I think we're going to try and see if we can get over here. Because I think I only see the one guy right now. See, so yeah, I keep trying to run around this way. Infantry's taking a decent amount of damage. Currently, you guys uh, took some good shot from that unit there. See what you can do. I almost have more men disembarked. Instead, you try and help out. These guys are holding fine. Uh, let's try and flank this guy. Because I need to be careful about them using their crossbows. Actually, they're moving their men up a lot around over here. Okay, we're going to go back over to this wall. I think they're moving all these guys over back this way to try and hit me. So this gate would actually be a pretty good spot to try and hit. So you guys are going right there. You guys are holding well enough against that. I think we want to try and hit this unit next. Because I've got one more guy disembarking here in a second. My crossbows. Um, I'm trying to get you guys a little bit closer. So you can maybe try and shoot units. Like right there. And right there. I might not need to disembark you guys. We'll have to see about this. So if you guys can do this without having to disembark, that'd be great. Uh, you're now in fight. Fight the Huskars. That's what I want. Okay, they broke this one unit off a little bit, so now I can at least try and flank you guys here. Uh, so my crossbows are in position. Uh, you've now been able to disembark. Let's have you go help out against the cav for right now. Uh, my crossbows here are trying to fire. Uh, some of you guys are moving. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm going to have to disembark you guys. Go right there. Go right there. These guys will have to wait a little bit on this, dropping off on this side. But, you know, those guys have been destroyed. Let's kind of adjust you guys here. Again, trying to get rid of this tower. It's almost destroyed. Then we can try and focus on these guys. Cab, I'm going to try and bring you over to hit the gates. So that we can try and get rid of these crossbow. I do want to, and this was suggested, um, get some axemen at some point. Because they were suggested that I could use those to break down uh, gates more, uh, more quickly. So that's not a bad idea. So let's get you guys to try and yeah, flank this guy. Kind of ignore this crossbow for right now. And just focus all of our attention onto the same units. Crossbows. I'll be just trying to disembark you guys at some point. You can try and just park there. You can try and go there. These guys are losing now to my men, which is good. So all of you guys keep focusing this unit down. Cav, hopefully it won't take you that much longer to get to this gate. And I'm hoping we can then just rush on in here pretty quickly and then just start hitting these crossbows. Uh, they've opened their gates again. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move you out of there. I'm going to keep you out of here at least. Everybody else, yeah, rush on in. Try and, like, break down the gates there. Yeah, just don't get my general kill, please. All right, let's see. So at this point in time, I've almost taken out half their army now. Uh, a lot of their infantry is dead. Uh, my crossbows have been able to disembark. I'm going to start trying to have you guys at least take this tower out. And then uh, this unit here, yeah, you should be able to start opening fire into them. I'm going to adjust you here in a second. I just want you to try and get some shots into the infantry here. At the moment, my cab is trying to... Can you just actually run in here? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. 
You just actually run inside then, because you're kind of glitched. Can anybody else actually run inside? No, everybody else is kind of glitched. So, just the one guy break your make your way through. You can just start just running into skirmishers now. And I'll try and do the same thing once I can with other cab units. I'm trying to take the gates here. And you, I'm going to adjust here so you get firing over there. I'll bring all of my infantry over this way as well to try and take this gatehouse. So try and take that. You run it in there. And if I can get any of you guys, if there we go, you can move in too. Let's have you hop out. Uh, go for this one instead. You guys just keep slowly forcing your way in and can do things. And gladly keep doing that. This is like, yeah, just these two. You two just keep going over here. These three. Game's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. Keep just trying to get in here if you guys can. You can't yet. You can't yet. You can't yet. Okay. But with me sending my infantry over this way, ideally, we'll just take it. Let's try and go for those crossbowmen there. Because we are capturing that. You guys are just trying to get rid of Once this tower is destroyed, I can then move these crossbows. And probably have you guys try and actually like shoot the general's bodyguard, the captain at least. One right here. Let's get you to also group up over... Well, actually, no, I think you two. And get ready over here to start shooting into these guys. Can you get my other cap get in here yet? Let's see. Uh, yes, you can. So you can now charge on in here as well. Uh, you can as well. This one is the only one that can't right now. Everybody else has been able to actually get through the gates now, technically. So yeah, you guys actually just hit this guy. Hit this crossbow there. Keep going after them. Yeah, now that my cavalry is inside the city, we have a way easier time dealing with because they only have uh, 400 guys now at this point in time. Most of the uh, men that are left are just skirmishers. There we go. That as well. Okay. Infantry, I don't need to have you guys here. Or if anything, I can maybe bring you guys over this way. Yeah, try and move off to the side here. Yeah, crossbows, all of you guys start trying to get ready to just try and see if you can just take out the captain. Because that tower is destroyed. So I'll have you guys go over this way. I'm just going to like right there right there, in case this unit charges forward. Crossbowman is almost dead. Go for the next one. Please just don't lose my calf. That's all I ask, is just don't lose my calf. Yeah, there you go. You guys are starting to do some pretty good damage to the captain already, so keep firing into him. Keep doing what you're able to. I'm probably going to move these crossbows now to back up a little bit. Because they're starting to make their way over towards us now. So kind of back up right there and right there. So all four of you can fire into him. You guys almost done with this unit here. This seems kind of struggling. Yeah, bring you guys back around this way to help out over here. This area is always a bit finicky in these cities. I don't know why. But you know, all of you. He focusing on the captain. He's trying to do his best, but he is facing the brave men of the Teutonic Order. And uh, my crossbows, I do like my crossbows. It's nice that I get to try and use something besides just basic archers and all the guns I was using so long ago in the... Uh, Roman Empire campaign. But there we go. So now, we have now been able to conquer and claim another city. I didn't realize I also just got a new uh, achievement there, technically, that I just never had before. Um, but yeah, we've now been able to conquer this territory. Hopefully, it will be fairly happy under my control. I am not opposed to the idea of trying to offer Denmark a ceasefire immediately after this. I think because there are war with so many people, they're... Um, I feel like their war weariness has to be pretty high. So they'll probably be more likely to give a ceasefire to me. I will just occupy the territory. And then let me see if they'll accept a ceasefire with me. Welcome, but expect Slow. Pleasantries. It's okay. I'll take the one territory I've got right now, and I'll keep this. So for right now, let's see. I can repair a little bit of this. Ooh. See, we've got to give it there. Trading docks. Yeah, because I want to keep... Again, every coastal city in this campaign, I want to actively use the trading docks for once. Usually I just did food, but I want to try this out because I want to really focus on getting a lot of trade uh, trade income. Um, should get the repair the food first. I think it's... Let's see. I'll repair the city for sure. No, let's hold off on that for right now. 
I don't mind repairing the gibbet. This as well, I don't mind repairing. This one costs 466. I'm gonna save it for right now. Because I need to make sure I can get that priest next turn. I have to be able to get the priest next turn. So we're going to do that. And then I got a rank up here. Um let's get some more replenishment there, and then I am gonna have to execute some deserters, because you guys are your integrity is not doing amazingly. Yeah. Yeah, so do that. And then I need another governor for this area. Let's see. Scholar, that one gives faction-wide research. So oh, I'm going to go with you and put you here. So, yeah, Scholar. Put you there. And then that should be enough. And then this area here, we'll just go with the growth one again. And religious on differences is a lot lower around here. So that is good. Instability, devastation... Yeah, we do have to repair this stuff as soon as we can, but I need to get that priest first. Oh my fucking god. No! Fuck off. Uh, now I have a war with Poland too. Am I just going to be at war endlessly in this campaign? Because, oh my god. Why? Why? Okay, first and foremost, before I forget, over here, we need to get me a priest. So... I want to grab, and all these are great. Who's the youngest? You're the youngest. We're gonna go with Victor. So grab him. You will then be deploying in this area and trying to make this area a bit happier. So that's gonna be your uh, job right now. Edict issued. More personal influence. Good. Good. I'm now at war with. Okay, can again. Denmark. I'm not opposed to offering a ceasefire. Welcome, I suppose. Come on. <laughs> We're at war with you, and you're at war with so many other people. Please, give me a ceasefire. Holy Rome, actually, would you want to trade? Are, as always, a Not so host to you. Okay, so I can't do that. Um, can't get trade with you. Guest. No, I can't get trade with you guys. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Um, Vilna should be okay. Basically, we can continue to try and get you guys to uh, improve over there now with the conversion. And then I need to start trying to repair this stuff, so... I should probably just repair you first. Because I'm going to need to figure out how much it costs to uh, convert this building over. If I even need to convert this building over. Or if I actually have a garrison right here. No, I actually have a garrison. Oh, hell yeah. I don't have to convert it. Oh, hell yeah. But I can't repair everything else for now. Oh. And Cedic League wants to trade with me. Um, Poland is sieging me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ready for battle. I almost want to actually go on the offensive with this. So either I go on the offensive right now, or I let them starve me out. We're not going to take attrition immediately, right? No, no, supplies will... Yeah, time before the garrison will run out of supplies. So we're not going to take attrition just yet. I can wait one turn... And they're going to take attrition from sitting outside the city. Ready for orders. I actually think it's better for us to just sit here. I actually do. Yeah, no, I think it's better for us to just sit there and wait. Uh, back over here. You need to deploy. And this area is almost no issues. Uh, it will start converting a little bit more now that you're here. So eventually you'll be happy around here. And at the moment right now I have nothing else to build. So we're just going to save my money. And I think basically... Because we have at least... We have seven turns that I can just wait. I could then attack immediately before the last turn. I could do that. Because they're just going to sit here. If they're just going to sit here, they will take attrition every single fucking winter. And defensively, I will do better than offensively. Especially since I also have the governor in this area. And he's fully replenished too. So, I think we're waiting. Ah, uh -huh, interesting. Poland actually decided to pull back. Okay, so they pulled back. I actually then got to get some replenishment around here then because of that. Um, ooh, I can get some new units around here too. Ooh. I do have enough money, I could try and get some more guys. Um, If they'd let me. God, everything's two turns. Because I would say, I do want to get some more of these guys. I also just barely make money right now. Uh, I will say for right now, though, let's try and repair all this stuff. Let's repair all that. I'm going to try and offer them a piece, because they pulled back. 
Speak your no, it's still low. I'm the only person there at war with right now. So let's then, if we can... Um, how do you guys compare? Morale's way lower. Prussian archers, high ammunition. I probably just want to get more cav, if anything. Mounted sergeants. Getting a ton of cav could not be a bad idea, maybe. So I can get like one of you. Got a decent amount of infantry. If anything, I do know I want some more of these guys. Because these guys have a good armor piercing. So I'm going to try and grab one of you. Actually, maybe we can cancel something for right now. Like, let's cancel that for right now. That way we can try and recruit two of you guys. And then we'll see what happens with the with uh, Poland. Them pulling back. Hopefully they're not trying to just bring over another army right now. Because that would suck ass if they decided to just do that. Poland has pulled back. They're just chilling right there right now. So I'm going to keep taking the time to try and recruit some more stuff around here. We have it so now we have resolved our food shortage around here. Beautiful. Uh, hey, I didn't even need to actually repair that myself. It just repaired on its own. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got that. I'll keep trying to offer peace to people that I'm at war with right now, if possible. So, Poland, drive with you Welcome, first. Still low. Uh, I do want to, if anything, like Serbia is top priority right now. Because I know right now, Welcome, you guys are actually sieging Kiev. And no, I kind of don't want you guys to be bordering me. That that's still, that's nah, not going to accept it. Okay. Well, for right now, I'm going to get some more punishment and recruitment around here. And then I would like to be able to get, like... Yeah, some more of you guys, because these are a good gav. That, I have enough money to pay for that. So if we can get two turns. I'd love to honestly just get another one of you next turn as well. I have a good population around here, because if I can get a full stack army, I get a ton of cav. Honestly, I almost actually want to just get more cav. I want to just get two more units of cav, and have this army be half of it just cavalry, because I know cav is really strong in Attila. And then is there anything else going on right now? Uh, rank gained. Uh, I do need to make sure that I upgrade you, though, for sure. So you need to keep eating some more stuff for uh, spreading religion and just having more public order around this area. And then that was my governor. Be you. You've got to rank up. I'm going to be giving you some more of the integrity stuff and then some more cunning. And then I think you're a loyal man. I can try and have it so that you can be uh, moved up here. And then I'm going to try... I can't put you in here just yet. You need uh, more influence. Then I can try and have you also get a rank up as well. Um, my daughter still can't marry anybody. I still do want you to try and marry one of these guys in. It's just, if they're a governor, they're going to do worse because of her. But I need her to marry somebody into the family, I'd say. They're still sitting there. So we got some political obstruction. Um... Yeah, let's have you be the one to just pull some strings to use up your own points there. Rank gained. That would be for my governor that's in this area. So let's have... Let's see, so that was for the Pomeranian area. This guy. So you need to get more authority there. So try and grab that. And then... Let's see. I will still be making enough money. If they're going to let me keep recruiting, I'm going to keep recruiting. And then eventually I'm going to be going on the offensive against Poland here. Because for right now... Okay, I've been able to get some more infantry. I've got some more infantry. These guys will be good to like take out uh, gates and crap like that. And just also good flanking units. Uh, I do hate that uh, my general is getting really old and he's probably going to die soon. Please don't die just yet, man. Please not yet. So it's almost perfect timing that basically... Uh, next turn, I think we're going to be trying to attack this army. Because I want to try and hit it before they can really do too much. Oh, no, it'll be the turn after because I can get one more cav unit. Because I want to get one more view. I'll still be making money and I'll finally have a full stack army. Barely. Uh, we did... Do we not finish that? Uh, I don't see. So we need to assassinate the fallen character. I don't have an assassin right now. But that's over there. I cannot do that. Oh, shit, you guys did take that city. Um, and I hope you guys don't make your way over to me. Please don't. I've got a garrison, but could be better. It's a full stack army. It'll be a bit, it'll be a bit of a struggle. Um, you... Let's see, I want to get... I want to get over here. So I'm going to get to that. So we spread the area, uh, spread it even faster right now. Because now it's going up 3.3%. There you go. So keep doing that. Now I wonder, Serbia, please, can I get a ceasefire with you? Do not waste time on Moderate. 
pastry payments. I don't know. I have 78. Uh, actually, wait. Um, let me cancel that. It's more important to get this ceasefire with you right now. So, Serbia, while I can have it moderate. Speak quickly. Do not expect come on, come on, come on. I don't care. I just need to give you money in this ceasefire. Come on, please. Yes. Okay. So now I do not border you guys. Uh, or I do border you guys, but I'm not at war with you guys now. So that's also one less war. Oh my god, can I please? I need to get my war weariness down so goddamn much. Welcome, but you guys are still low there. Who else am I war with? I'm still war with Sicily, but of course you guys are not going to cease fire with me. Um, and then Poland I'm still at war with. Speak your speech. So God damn it! Oh, I'm gonna literally just be at war constantly in this war battle uh, campaign. But I do, I do think next turn we can hit you guys and try and take out this force because I want to make sure they're not trying to bring reinforcements over here. Okay, since their army did not move, let's get going. So I want to try and have it. So now let's take this army out because we should be able to easily do this, I would think. So let's push on in here. I don't see anybody nearby. They're gonna back off away from us. Want to fight you there. So I don't think I can win that fight right now. I do not think I would be able to win that fight. Um Can I please get a ceasefire with you? No. Because let's see. So this army right here. That's not bad. I don't know what this army is. Got enough for mercenaries? I do have enough for one mercenary. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go big or go home. If I win this fight, which I might be able to, I think I can I can maybe do this. Depends on what's inside the arm. Okay, so that's all infantry. That's all infantry. This is all infantry. I think I can win this. It's gonna be tough, but I think I can win this fight. Because the garrison we don't care about at all. The garrison's really easy to kill. The army that's inside the city as well is pretty easy to kill as well. It's just the one general's bodyguard. Because again, if I can get it just down to their infantry, if I can get rid of all the cavalry, I have the advantage. I have so many cav units. I have nine units of cav. They only have, uh, so they got four, five, five melee cav and two crossbow cav. Yeah, no, I can I can do this. You thought the the winged saws are coming for you to aid you? No, they are coming from us. So let's 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 take these guys out if we possibly can. Let's see, because dry conditions, terrain. So they got the high ground around over there. So what we want to do is the enemy reinforcements should. Oh, actually, I think the enemy reinforcements are going to be coming from over here because that's where the city should be. So, like, if we're over here, and, like, we have my men over here, and my crossbows, and then all of my cavalry, if I can flank them, or if I can just, like, have it so we destroy these reinforcements before they get on the map, I think we're good. So, it's like you have, like, you guys this side, you guys on this side, start to plummet. And hopefully I'm right that the reinforcements are coming from around here. Because they're all just infantry. Come on, where are they coming from? The reinforcements are coming from down there. So if they're all from down there, you're all probably going to regroup with your allies. I'm going to adjust. Let's now just adjust over here. Kind of rotate. And then you guys kind of rotate here as well. And I do think I'm going to have you guys try and be aggressive. So let's try and see what damage we can do like before, as they're trying to get to their allies. Because this army has like no cavalry besides the general's bodyguard. So if we can rush on over here, we can kill him. And I might be able to start like taking out the entire force over here. Yeah, because they're just trying to go to their allies. There's 3,000 of them. They outnumber me 2 to 1. But two to one is fine. We can we can sometimes deal with two to one. Yeah, because this one crossbow is alone. I'm gonna charge into you. 
try and get my other calf. Go off around the backside. You guys go like right here. So we're gonna start charging on in the best we can. Ignore their infantry for right now. Try and focus the skirmishers down first. So like go like right there, 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 and there. You four are going around the backside. My general's bodyguard is just taking out these crossbows. So they're dead. So you can charge on in here. All of you are just trying to flank. There you go. Keep charging. Keep charging. This bodyguard will bring you back over this way. Because these guys might get in a melee with me. There you go. Good amount of damage. Good amount of damage. Let's see. I'm going to have... Yeah, my general's bodyguard. Well, actually, you guys should be over here more so. Try and go hit this unit. You guys move. Crossbows are taking some good damage. Charge in against the Axemen. You guys, yeah, keep, remind to make sure they break. It's kind of our group on the back. All of you fuck up this crossbow. The faster we fuck them up, the better. Make sure they break those units. They've already lost 300 so far. So now what we want to do is you guys, yeah, you've almost shattered them. Jonas bodyguard, go on the back side here a little bit more. Now uh, they're bringing their Jonas bodyguard back over here. Shut this go ahead over here. Yeah, you guys are struggling a little bit there. I'm gonna finish off those crossbows. There we go. So let's have uh, two of you help out my king, kill him. The rest of you are supposed to try and up here. Try and get a proper charge. Try and pull you guys back. You're obviously going to take a little bit of damage from that, but I think that's okay. We don't want to fight them in a massive blob like this. We want to pull back. So yeah, you guys get yeah, focus the general's bodyguard down now. You guys keep going back here. We want to spread them out. General's bodyguard is taking some good damage there. You guys keep backing up here. Ignore the infantry. We'll come back for them later. We just want to get rid of that crossbow then. This guy's trying to charge us, so we'll charge him. There we go. So he's dead. So that's the general that was inside the city. Now let's hit this lovely spearman. Get all of my cav. Yeah, they're just ignoring us with their other army. So now I'm going to get you guys to move up here. Then I can have you hit this crossbow. That unit's shattered. Now we want to do this. So let's get uh, four of you over here. Or actually, yeah, like right here. The rest of you will kind of... Like, this guy's trying to make his way over to us. So we'll let him, because he's only alone. Let's get you guys to try and charge into that unit. Yeah. You four are going to try and go here. You and you are up here. Because if we can charge into them, we can easily break these units. We've already killed 700 of them already. So yeah, just kind of get over here, guys. Spread out. Spread out. Careful there. Careful, careful, careful. Do not hit that. You know, that unit broke instantly. Uh, we didn't even hit them. So, yeah, no, hit those crossbows. Okay. Charge this unit. Just want to take out one guy at a time. Here, you're still not making your way over to us. Yeah, good charge. Next one, right there. Just delete him. There we go. He's broken. Pull back again. Same deal. So, right there. And it was these two back off as well. Those guys broke. Let's go hit uh, this guy next. Because yeah, this guy's alone right now. Flank him the best you guys can. I can have you guys kind of go... Let's, let's wait. That's a big blob right now. Let's go focus on these other units over here. So this guy should shatter after this charge. Then we can try and take out you next. So these three. Back off again. You guys back off again. And then over here. Yeah, without the garrison, this is going to be so easy. Like, they will just have to finish off the rest of their army, which, so far, uh, they've lost 1,100 guys. So you guys just back down here. You try and charge here. Try and charge here. All of my cav focus this one poor bastard. It's one poor levy spearman. Get on in there. Shatter him. So there's only, like, what? One, two, three, there's, like, six guys? Yeah, five guys that I can see at the moment. So you go here. All of you guys go here. Let's take these three out next. They're sending some guys, yeah, trying to get back over to their allies. They still have all their cav from this army, which is kind of a concern. 
But I think for right now, I wonder if I took out everything else, would I be able to just like withdraw and still walk into the city? Maybe. Probably not. Like, I almost feel sorry for them that I'm just charging them like this. Like, charging here. Um, but hey, we've almost taken out all the forces that were inside the city. So once they're all dead, it will have a lot of an easy, a hell of a lot easier time trying to take out everything else. Since you guys are going over here. All of you. Yep, they're just breaking. Yeah, without their general, their morale is pretty damn bad. So we're just trying to run up here. There's one unit left here. And I'm debating if I'm going to have to try and instigate them into attacking me. Or if they'll make their way over as soon as I finish all this stuff off. Because I have done a number on... I almost outnumber them now at this point. Okay, so just move everybody in position. We now need to take out these two units. So let's go like... Eh, okay, yeah, form up. Right there. You guys right there. So these two here. These two here. These two here. These three here. There. So that should be the last bit. Let's charge to finish them off. Then... Yep, there we go. All shattered. Now, we just need to try and figure out a way to convince them to fight me. So, uh, how do we want to go about this? I might have my cab, like, go back over here. I kind of go on the back side. I can have these guys, actually, if I want to. Start slowly advancing towards the enemy army. Just so I can eventually get my crossbows up out, too. And my infantry. Okay, I have moved my forces just in range to be able to do something. They are now responding a little bit. Move my calves, just try and get them a little bit more focused on my calf, if anything. Because what I want to do right now is just have you guys try and see if you can take out any of their uh, calf units for me. Because I put you guys in shield walls so you take less damage from main shots. But yeah, move up a little bit closer. Because I want them to focus their attention kind of on my infantry. And then I can have my calf just rush on in here. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. See you guys. Charge over here. You guys charge over here. You guys charge over here. You three charge over here. Yeah, oh, actually, you two. You two go for the general. You three actually now go for that melee cav. The rest of you are going to be going for those skirmishers. And they do have their one Polish knight unit that's trying to do something. Okay, you guys now focus on this guy. Focus on the melee cav. Focus on melee cav. Just putting guards running away from us, so don't chase them. See, so focus on taking out their cav first. My forces are over here. Uh, you need to. Ah, oh, damn it! I almost had you guys do your brace thing. Okay, you get over here and help out against those guys, best you can. Yep, cav is gonna start breaking there. I almost said that one general is almost dead there. Okay, so all of you. Back off. Oh, no. Focus the Jones bodyguard if he's going to charge us. This guy is winning against us. I don't like that. Crossbow's lead. You should be able to just like, freely shoot this unit here. Yeah, those axemen are broken. I'm not surprised by that, given that I wasn't able to get a good uh, brace for them. But let's have you guys all try and focus on these Polish knights here. And let's have half of you focus on the infantry, half of you focus on the cav. Cav here, though. Back up. And then we need to have you start trying to deal with all these skirmishers. We don't care about this blob of infantry at all. We need to turn back around and go over here. Yeah, those guys are taking some good damage. Good damage. Okay, keep going up against these guys. Cab just needs to all back away here. I don't want you guys are stuck. Oh, actually, this general's bodyguard's fighting you. Okay. Yeah, so fight him. I didn't realize you were still fighting him. Let's see that guy. Uh, try and brace if you can. You're not going to be able to brace that. Yep, a good amount of damage there. Oh, no, they're still losing, though. Okay. I'm going to have you guys slowly walk up. Try and basically just, like, soak up some damage there. Let's get bodyguard. He is 55, guys. This knight's almost dead. Okay, infantry, try and get a melee with the skirmishers, if you can. Cavalry, I, I need to get out of here. You're fighting the spearman more than you're fighting the general's bodyguard, which I do not want, so you just kind of pull away from him. So you guys are a bit too beat up anyways. Uh, you... You're the one that's struggling the most. Yeah, just try and get away from their infantry. If we're gonna fight the general, we'll fight him away from this infantry. I, I really do need to focus on the skirmishers. Because, like, yeah, you guys are just trying to soak up damage while you're moving up to them. And I can get you guys in melee. You can deal with these skirmishers for me. Because bounce power-wise is pretty good. Uh, those guys are broken. Crossbows. 
adjust. Basically, you should have you try and focus on all these guys. Cav, focus on the general's bodyguard now that he's away from his troops. Bring you over here a little bit. Okay, now, now start trying to get in melee with these guys. You can. Try doing that. These two also make your way over here as well. Yeah, crossbows. Start trying to get in range. If anything, try and focus down the skirmisher cav. That's more important than anything, because they're just kind of a pain in the ass to try and chase. Or, yeah, like you two, focus on this guy. Jones bodyguard. Let's see, he's at 45 right now. And you get over here to try and help out against these lovely spearmen. Pull back again, but like those spearmen are getting way too close. I want their general to die, damn it, but he won't give up. Ah, oh, damn it, my general's dead. He was getting pretty old, though, so I'm not too surprised by that. God damn it. He was gonna die eventually. Maybe try and rally us around here. Because I know we're winning this fight. We should not lose this fight. As long as I can get my men to properly... Like, the general needs to die. General needs to die. I need to then focus on their skirmishers with my cavalry. And we've got this. Because, like, right now, we're winning against you guys. Crossbows. I'm gonna basically have crossbows right now. Need you to try and get over here to hit that blob of units. Let's two. Is their general dead yet? Fucking course not, he's not dead. Yeah, now my guys are okay. I need to ignore this goddamn general. I need to go get those skirmishers of theirs. Because these guys are getting free damage right now. So let's pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Just run away from that. That general's still alive, but just ignore him for right now. Until we get further away from their troops. I have to I have to take out those skirmishers. These infantry units are being a pain in the ass. Back, back, back. Go over here. There you go, just ignore them. Ignore them there. Yep, yeah, because good. Ugh. I know we win this. I just need to take you guys out here. Just ignore those guys. Crossbows, go back over here. Yeah, most of my infantry broke from trying to deal with these skirmishers because I didn't get to give them calf support. Okay, so let's group you guys up here. We're gonna use my cab now. Try and take out those skirmishers. We, we have to do that. It's so like half of you go here. Half of you go... Yeah, there we go. Get in melee. You three finish off this damn general's bodyguard. Oh my god. Please don't tell me we're gonna lose this fight. All because of bullshit reasons. Where that general just wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. If he dies, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you guys should be wavering there. Go back again. Do not stay fighting him. If he has the cab, do not uh, the spears. Do not fight him. Let's go for this one unit. These two units over here. Broken them over there. Perfect. Yeah, focus the skirmishers down. Once these skirmishers are dead, this will be closer than I'd like. We were doing so well. We were destroying them. And then this fucking general. All of you guys, please kill him. Focus him down. Cav, focus down the skirmishers here. They should shatter any second now. Okay, next one. Yep, infantry finally took out the general. There we go. Fuck you. Make sure these all, uh, we capture all of these units if possible. Okay, there we go. <sighs> I won it. I think I only lost one unit. I think only my one Axeman, that one that got charged initially, I think he's the only one that died. I think everybody else survived. My general died for sure, but again. Hederman was getting up there in age. He was like 70 fucking three. Um, he was blind. He was a blind general and he won this while blind. Well, he died, but his, his men well, won that. It's still kind of crazy to think about. Now, did I destroy the entire garrison? Please tell me I did. I want to just be able to walk into the city. Yeah, I only lost that one cab unit and my general's bodyguard. I mean, there's that one infantry unit. I did not take out the entire force, though. That is impossible. So, I have to take you. Yeah, I have to take this guy. We hunger for battle. At your command. I wish you didn't have these troops in there. I wish I could hit that other army that was outside over here, but no. 
Basically, what we'll do is we'll, we'll siege this. I think I'm going to try and have us do one end turn, because I want to see if we can technically take this territory. Um, currently, it's actually my new heir is the current one, actually. Oh, it's my son. Um, yeah, you're the one currently over here, so I'm not opposed to you, like... Oh, it's the bastard son, too. But, you know, let's, let's try doing one end turn and see, can I get this city with an auto-resolve the next turn? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why does everybody fucking hate me? <sighs> Why? I need to get my war weariness down. And I can't if everybody keeps attacking me. Is there a different way to reduce it in this mod that I just don't know about? Because, like, I know, like, it's an it takes inspiration from, like, um, Europa Universalis, where that one, when your war readiness gets too high, you can pay a resource to reduce it. Oh, good, they just walked away from Pawson. But, like, I don't think I can do that in this mod. Let's see, so, a worthy bride. Um, no, they're, they're fine. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let you take that. Trade agreement broken with them. I make less money now, too. God damn it. Uh, my war weariness is at fucking 31%. Oh my god. We take this settlement. <sighs> of course you can do Terra's bodyguards. Uh, yeah. I can t I can do this fight next video pretty easily. Let I just wanted to see if they are going because we're gonna we're gonna be attacking that for sure. But I, I don't wanna take make this video too long, so I will be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have it on general, but this is Rampain. I'll see you guys next time. I can, t I can do this.